H.G. Roasts. Number two, part one. Welcome to H.G. Roasts, number two. The minions have blown away the ashes of the recently roasted Ellen. You may not know this, but we pipe in directly a hot air blast to ensure that there isn't a trace, not a speck, not a moat, or a scintilla of the previous roastee left. So thank you, Donald, for that piped provision. Now, as I walk through the shadowed underbelly of Tudor Towers, who shall be brought from the confines of their cell and placed upon the grill, splayed and ready for their much-deserved roasting? Let me see. What about you, large-bottomed wrapper with a penchant for aggro? No, Anika, Tanya, Mirage Petty, you can stay in this place for a while yet. There will be no starships taking you away. But still, that anaconda can keep you company. Apparently, he's most fond of buns, hun. How about you, chef? Now, now, potty mouth. That's no way to speak to your overlord and master. Do you speak to your staff like that? Of course you do. That's part of why you're in here. What's that, chef? The gruel is underdone. I know. And I added some gentleman's relish, too. So eat it all up. There's a good hothead. No, it's not your turn to be overdone. You need to simmer for some time. Aha! Who do we have here? Oh, hello, religious hypocrite. How are you today? Missing your ill-gotten gains off the back of the generous donors, hmm? Yes, pretty shitty getting found out like that. But still, if you're going to poke that underwhelming appendage around outside of the holy matrimony, well, what can you expect? You want to make a television appeal? Oh, you've made far too many of those already. No, no roast for you. But surely, according to your own beliefs, you are going to get to a place of equal roast worthiness, hmm? A roasting in the lake of fire, no less? Perhaps I'll let Papa deal with you. Not today, Godpotherer. Not today. Now, aha, here we are. This is our roasty, and of course we smelt you before we arrived at your cell. That unusual scent that wafted along the corridor. What's that, Minion? The smell of bullshit? No. Horseshit? No. Rank hypocrisy? Mm, possibly, but not this time. No. This is the unmistakable scent of vaginal vanity, the punani of pretension, the fanny of faff, and the orifice of opportunity. Hello, Miss Paltrow. Yes, it's time. Now, now, there's no place for tears. They'll make the mascara slide down your face. What's that? It's non-running. No. <laughs> Come now. We both know that your crocodile tears are simply acid-based, and your mascara doesn't stand a chance. Minions, bring her to the grill. Miss Paltrow, you need to consciously uncouple, please, from the bars of your cell. Otherwise, these million, minions will just wrench you from it. They're stronger than they look, you know. Your arms will be torn from their sockets. The minions are like roided-up umpa-lumpers. Good. I thought that would make you see sense. The coals, they are a-glowing. The kerosene is flowing. And Gwyneth Paltrow, it's time to be going. Your reputation is toast, so join HG, your host as we subject you to the roast. Gwyneth, Gwynny, Gwyn, where do I begin? Why don't we start with your rampant and unfettered grandiosity and batshit crazy magical thinking? There you stare, 
that mannequin-like stiff pose that you adopt, those blonde tresses framing your not unpleasant face, the empty eyes spanning the horizon, ready to home in on another victim with your vacuous vanities. You just love to tell people what to do, high-handed, arrogant, and I know so much better than you. You seriously believe that you have been placed on this earth to lead the denizens in some kind of crusade for inner purity. So long as it can be merchandised at many dollars a go, of course it always has to be that way. You exhibit repeated self-delusion. You preach. You are self-absorbed, utterly detached from the trials and tribulations of the ordinary people. You float around like some high-end fairy godmother with that sugary, slightly goofy grin of yours, entirely wrapped up in your own world, a preposterous lifestyle advice and over-priced non-products. You act like your shit not only doesn't stink, but is fragranced and glitter-infused. Admittedly, you do have a degree of acting talent, but hardly the best actor that I have ever witnessed, and somehow you snaffled an Oscar, and boy, didn't that go to your head. You ponce around in the rarefied atmosphere of Goopland, more on that at a twatfest later, and look down on the proles with your sanctimonious crap. The instances of your self-entitled, deluded, arrogant, manipulative and facade-managed behaviour are legion. There's just so many of them that you probably give Harry's wife a run for the money and the number of episodes that I would have to create. But today... As you're roasted, I'm going to have to confine myself to some juicy examples. For the sake of the roast, as the queen of roasties is long and winding, there are many people that need to be dealt with. Where better, than to begin with, as you're off the chart crazy, by telling women that they can enhance their female powers by sliding a jade egg into their foo-foos. Oh, and let's not forget, they can pay $66 for the privilege of packing your nether regions with semi-precious stones. Are you mad? Actually, you're not, but God's teeth. This is just one of many prescriptions that you issue based on your sense of entitlement, your lofty arrogance, and its blatant triangulation with objects, or maybe is that triangulation. Let's dive in and learn some more about this absolutely deluded bollocks that you have been spouting. If we go to the preposterously named site Goop, where apparently you named that on the basis that things that have double O in the title do well, like Google, and so you put the G for Gwyneth at the beginning, P for Poltro at the end, and stuck double O in the middle. You need to be double O'd. A 007, licensed to kill, to off you with this completely pretentious twaddle. What a ridiculous name. Makes it sound like something that's slid from the vagina that you're trying to fill. The jade egg. But let's go and have a look at the description. Yoni eggs harness the power of energy work, crystal healing, and a Kegel-like physical practice. Okay, if you say so. Insert the egg into your vagina and feel the connection with your body by squeezing and releasing the egg more on how to use. Step 1. Wash your egg with soap and water. After, place it in hot, i.e. recently boiled water, for about 10 minutes. Let it cool. Sage advice. Nobody wants to be sticking a scalding hot piece of rock right up their vatch. Step 2. Gently insert the egg into your vagina, like you would a tampon. Right. Then the slightly larger side of the egg first. Work your pelvic floor and feel the connection with your body by squeezing and releasing the egg. You might begin with a 10 to 15, 10 to 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minute session if comfortable. Build up a practice and if it brings joy and well-being to you. Hmm. Until next time, clean your egg after use. Well, nobody wants to be a skank and leave a sort of mucus surrounded egg lying around for the kids to pick up. Mummy, what's this? Is it a kinder surprise? Clean your egg after use and before using again. Keep it 
in or on a space that is sacred to you or has good vibes. I'm sure Grandfather would be delighted for people popping down and putting the vajeg on his grave. Fuck me. This is the kind of tripe that you come out with. This is the type of nonsense that you propound as this type of product. And it's wholly ridiculous, but in keeping with your deluded behaviour. It seems you're obsessed with all matters vag, shoving eggs in your vag, selling candles that smell of your vag, oh, and steam cleaning your vag. And you rejoice in not only sharing such intimacies, not only telling people what they should do, and then you bend them over and dry hump them by charging ridiculous sums. Boundary recognition? Not a fucking chance. You actually advocate that women steam clean their tuppences. You sit on what is essentially a mini throne, you once wrote. Well, that'll be right, coming from the queen of all things vaginal. You then continued, A combination of infrared and mugwort steam cleans your uterus et al. The fuck? A combination of infrared and mugwort? What in the name of all things unholy is that? Is this something that Professor Horace Slughorn would sling up your orifice at Hogwarts? Not only is this pretentious gibberish, it doesn't even fucking work. And steam, apparently, isn't good for the vag. Jen Gunter, a doctor, an Obgin expert, so probably knows a few things about the old fanny, explained, steam is not good for your vagina. Mugwort or wormwood can't possibly balance any reproductive hormones, regulate your menstrual cycle, treat depression or cure infertility. So that's you told. Dr. Gunter also stated, steam isn't going to get into your uterus from your vagina unless you are using an attachment with some kind of pressure and most definitely never ever do that. Now, of course, sensible advice there from somebody who knows something about those nether regions. But then, recently, of course, Poltro was confronted with this contradictory medical science, and she responded, I start to do research, and it's been in Korean medicine for thousands of years, and there are real healing properties. If I find benefit to it, and it's getting a lot of page views, it's a win-win. Right. So basically, your control is threatened by somebody coming up with some science. You poo-poo it, nullifying that threat to control by talking about it's been involved in Korean medicine for thousands of years and there are some real healing properties. And then, of course, if you find benefit to it, if you do in your crazy, delusive motherfucker of a mind, and of course, it's getting a lot of page views, which is signaling to you unconsciously that you have control and you're receiving fuel, then it's a win-win, isn't it? No, it's a win for you and nobody else. These poor bastards are steam cleaning their insides, giving an internal valet, scolding the inside, and then wondering why they don't want anybody popping the old hide the sausage in there. Thereafter, you don't care. You don't care about how many scalded vaginas there are because you have no emotional empathy. You need to assert control and you quite simply don't give a fuck about anybody else other than your own deluded world. We're only getting started, though, with you, Miss Poltro. Your behaviour provides us with so many examples. And so join me in part two as we continue with a good old roast of Gwyneth Poltro.